Gavin, welcome to the club. First of all, describe how you're feeling uh, now that you've joined. Uh, delighted. Yeah, really pleased to finally um, to have uh, to have got the got the deal done, and, and just delighted to get cracking today. So it's been a bit of a whirlwind, obviously, but um, you know, seeing the quality of, of of the coaching staff and the players today. So just really, really determined um, to to help help the guys uh, achieve the objectives. Really, I know you've had one session with with a few of the boys. What, what's your first impressions been? Well, first impressions were, were, were good. They've obviously been back in training for uh, for a little while now, um, so they look sharp, they look fit. Obviously, you know, like like the world in general, football is a little bit different just now. You know, so so the day's been quite it's been quite long. You know, we, we started early and, and we finished late in terms of getting the different groups out at different times. So um, the the coaching staff have clearly adapted very well. Um, it was more of a it's like a watching brief for me today, really, and get to know people and, and, and get to know the staff, the people around the around the training ground who are actually there, and just getting to know the players, getting a feel for the players. So it's been uh, been a busy day, but but really productive. You've obviously joined Neil Lennon and, and John Kennedy after the departure of of Damien Duff. What do you hope to bring to the to the coaching setup at Celtic? Um, well, I hope to to be myself, uh, um, um, and, and, and you know, not obviously try and try and replicate anything that, that's, that's been done before, I have to be myself and just add, you know, just add ingredients to a management team. You know, everyone's got their own characteristics and, and, and hopefully me being myself uh, will, um, will, you know, be, be a, a positive addition to that team. You join the club ahead of a, a massive season, of course. Are you looking forward to a level of pressure and scrutiny that with respect to, to Doncaster and Peterborough will be on a different scale? Absolutely, uh, you know. I think you, you you have to you have to challenge yourself. You've got to try and come out your comfort zone, which is which is clearly what I'm doing. It's not lost on me um, just what an important year it is. Um, I could have shied away from it and 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 carried on in a job that was very comfortable with and very happy with. But you know, to, to for any individual to progress their career, you have to come out of that comfort zone, and and I'm certainly doing that. But but really motivated and excited by the challenge ahead. Your dad, of course, knows the club well after bringing so much success here when he was manager. Has he given you any advice? No, he, he, no he's, he's, uh, he hasn't. He would, he would never do that. He, he never does that anyway. I, mean, I, I, was, I was lucky enough to be there at, at some of the big, big nights um, during that period. Obviously, I remember Nakamura's free kick against um, Man United in the, in the Champions League. A night I was lucky enough to be there and also... Um, Venegas uh, winning header against Dundee United to secure the title. I was there as well, um, so you know I know the atmosphere. I know um, I know what it means to everybody, um, and I'm just um, excited to, to to try and bring more of those nights to the club and to the fans. Do you think that'll help you, especially working with players who perhaps are coming into the club and don't know that much about it? Will it help you the fact that you you know the history and you've been here and you've been to those big nights? Yeah, I think so. You know, I think it's the the motivation for anyone joining the club is to be part of those those big nights and those big um, you know those big nights of, of pressure and just feeling feeling the stadium when it's like that is uh, is such a such a pull and such an exciting part for any for anybody involved in football. One thing with joining Celtic is you don't really get much time to kind of relax into the job especially with this huge season ahead and the demands that the fans put on everybody is that something you relish yeah and it's, it's you know it's going to be again it's another challenge because obviously the way celtic season uh, is sort of pans out you know there's big challenges really really early on in the season whereas it's you know it's not like um maybe down the road where where you get time to bed into the season it's it's, it's right into it plus the, the added complications or challenges, if you like, of of um, the COVID protocols and, and and dealing with that. So they're all challenges, and and, and everyone I can you know, obviously I've only been there one day, but I can see that everybody's fully aligned and, and up for those challenges. Because ultimately, you're joining a team of winners. You know, you don't get to go for ten in a row without winning nine. So you're you're in amongst the, the you know the, the best of the best. Absolutely, and you can see that from certain individuals all, already in terms of the standards that they set. Um, you know, and, and it, it's it's great to see they've clearly got a um, a real team 
ethic that, that is used to, as you say, excellence and, and winning. Um, and, you know, I just want to be a, a massive part of that if I can. Yeah, your dad had a, had a despite the, you know all the success, had a very simple philosophy when it came to, to football. It was almost a, you know, getting the, the too much coaching out of the way and letting the the players express themselves. You know, from a youth level all the way through to, to a professional. Do you come from the same sort of sort of ethos? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I'm certainly, and I, I was, you know, my remit. It, it, it's all about obviously winning at a club like like Celtic, but there is also a. A development side to it as well um, you know they are very keen we are very keen to develop our, our own players young players um, so that's that's a big part of my of my background in, in coaching and it's something I'm very very keen to do so the challenge is to again to align that within a, a winning culture and winning philosophy well listen it's great to have you here Gavin it's great to have another Strachan back at paradise and we look forward to plenty more success ahead thanks Jerry thank you